They were going to be changing the front brake pads and rotors on a 2012 Chevy Malibu. It's pretty simple, you just need your basic tools, a jack, a couple jack stands. Uh, you're going to start off with a three quarters and loosen all the lug nuts before you jack up the tires. Then you'll go ahead and lift the vehicle and get the rims taken off. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then we'll move on to removing the brakes and the rotors. Got the tire off. now. You're going to remove two bolts in order to get the caliper off. It's going to be this bottom bolt right here and this top one right here. And then this in part, inside part will come out, the actual housing that holds the brake pads. And then after that we will remove this bracket in order to get the rotor off. And that will be this bolt right here and that bolt right there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then move Take on. There's two step. bolts out, which removes the piston. And then you got your brake pads sitting right inside here, which just pull out. Simple enough. Alright, we're gonna pull out those, but first I'm gonna unbox the actual brake pads and rotors that I got from 1A Auto. A lot better than going to your O'Reilly's or AutoZone. Much better pricing, quick shipping. I got brake pads and rotors for the front for less than what I would have got just the brake pads from O'Reilly's or AutoZone. So I suggest 1A Auto. But I'm going to go ahead and pull out the brake pads. I'll need brake pads. Here's the rotors. I'm gonna go ahead and take the I got other it all out. off. The part that actually holds the brake pads, which are held in by two bolts, which are size 15, and then the smaller ones are 14s. After this, you should be able to just pull off the rotor, replace the brake pads, and put it back on. I'm gonna go ahead and do yeah, that. So now. I got the rotor off. There might be a couple pins that go over the bolts. Uh, that actually hold your rotor on and just pull them off with a pair of pliers and then the brake pads easy you just slide right in to these brackets just like that and then they're ready to go back on uh, the only thing left to do is put the new rotor on compress the piston with a seat clamp or a brake tool I just got a seat clamp just use one of the old brake pads, set it on here, compress it so you can get the new brake pads in. I'm gonna go ahead here and do I that have now. C-clamp with old brake pad on the piston. All you're gonna do is tighten it until the piston is pushed back inside. That's all you do and then you'll be able to put the rotor on, put this bracket back on and slide the piston right on over top. You rotor on, use the two clips Pinched them back on here, and then I'm about to remount this bracket. Put some anti seize on both of the bolts. About to mount that up right now. It just goes on simply like this. I'm a dumbass. Put it on the right way, and it mounts just like that. I got that back on just by putting this bolt and this bolt back in. It does help to have a breaker bar when uh, taking these out and putting them in. But that's it. Now I'm about to put the piston back over top and bolt it it's down. It's all done. And got the piston mounted back up, put the two bolts in, everything's tightened. Uh, now I'm about to move on to the other side, but remember when uh, you get the wheels mounted again and you start the well before you start the car start pumping your brakes before you go anywhere make sure that piston gets tied up against the brake pads then you're good to go